Hey folks, so here's a really neat trick you can do simply with the markup tool in uh, on the iPhone. Uh, let's say that you have a picture and uh, let's say that somebody made an action figure of you but you per don't particularly like the way the face came out. Yeah. Let's say that happened. But you want people to know that they made an action figure about you. You just don't particularly like the way the face came out. Or let's say that you have a great picture of you and your ex is in it and you don't want that uh, person to be identified. Or let's say that there's a picture of you doing something and you don't want to be identified. Or let's say, you know, for whatever reason you want to black out somebody's uh, face. So you ever see like the, I don't know, the cover of like ACDC's Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap? Or... Um, you know, those redacted photos where they don't have somebody's permission to use the image and, uh, and so they, they put a little um, uh, black rectangle over their eyes. Well, that's what we're going to do. So, so in, you're in photos. You take your photo and you hit edit. Now, I'm going to go into, see here you have at the bottom, you have some options. So hit this one that has the circle with the three dots. And it says markup. See where it says markup? Hit markup. Now, this was a live photo. I don't know why I always have my photos set on live. It just takes up more space. And uh, Anyway, so it won't mark up the live photo. It has to turn it into a single photograph. And if you don't know what that means, I can explain that in the comments if you want to leave a comment. So um, just hit OK. It's going to turn off live photo. Hit OK. And uh, OK, so now we've got a photo that we can mark up. So we look at the bottom here, and there's a bunch of tools. Well, uh, we go to uh, plus, hit the plus at the end. Now, see these little shapes at the bottom? So I'm going to hit the, uh, the one that looks like a square. So now I've got a rectangle on, on board. I can resize this rectangle by using these um, various dots, these eight dots, uh, the blue dots, on the corners and the sides, so I can just resize it to what I want and I want a rectangle around around the eyes so let's say we want to place it right there so that's good we got the right shape now the only problem is it's a clear rectangle and I don't want it to be a clear rectangle so now I hit um, no, well, I've got the color. I want black. So I've got. So here's where you pick the color. So I want black. If you wanted red, that's fine. But I want black. And then you hit this shape. Um, the symbol with the uh, little circle and the little uh, square. And what this does is it lets you uh, choose. Um, right now we're in a medium like size uh, frame. Here's a thicker frame. Here's a thinner frame, but here's a filled-in frame. So it's filled in with whatever color this is. So this color is black, so now we have that. So now we have our black rectangle over top of someone's uh, eyes. And then you hit uh, Done. And uh, now that's the photograph. Now, be aware, though, that this changes the original photograph. So if you're really done, you can hit this uh, yellow Done uh, key in the bottom right hand corner. If you're not, then hit cancel and it'll just revert back to the original image. So it might be a good idea to copy the image before you do this, uh, but uh, this that's how you put a black rectangle to make uh, someone's eyes di disappear or anything that you want to disappear. If it's a dog or a cat or a uh, landmark or a road sign or a license plate or you know any identifying mark or anything that you don't want to appear in the photograph, that's how you make a black rectangle in uh, the simple tools that you can use to modify your photos. And I'll say no more. Uh, thank you very much, though. And uh, if you like this, like it. And if you want to subscribe, uh, subscribe. And if you want more, put it in the comments below and I'll make more. Okay? Thanks for watching. Take care.